All right, welcome back to uh, Sped Outfitters. We're here at our first lake. Been here a couple times this year. A lot of bluegills, so we'll do that. And then there's a lot of gills in this lake. Should be a pretty good a couple bass too. Should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good fish. So let's get her done. set up out here we got the hub up uh it's like negative 10 today yeah it's cold so we're fishing in the shack today um we're gonna catch one millions we're gonna catch a million bluegills hopefully and some bass too yeah and we already saw some on the camera so we'll get some great underwater footage for you guys it's gonna be pretty dope hopefully she pans out oh she's gonna pan out that's for damn got a lot on you bud Got him. Is it tiny or is it big? Mm, it could be nice. Eh. Oh yeah. Ooh. We oh, will I take that. I got one on me too. All of a sudden, just a bunch of marks just came. Show me the camera, kid. That's a nice gill. It's a nice seven and a half, eight incher. Quick release. I got a little one staring at me. <laughs> Oh, shit, this. this is always a go-to. <laughs> this is like these new Reese's Big Cup with pretzels. Amazing. When you're on the ice, when you're in the car, anywhere. When a Reese's, I, just, I left my Pepsi in the truck though. But I will be eating that shortly. Did you hit it? You got it. He is on. It looks like it's nicer. That rod mm. is just bent over. It's not bad. It's like a borderline keeper, I think. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Not a bad little guy. Looked bigger on the camera. Yeah, he came right in front of the camera. Damn near covered the screen. I love trebles. Probably six inch skill. What are they doing down there? They're, oh, looking, they're, for, they're looking for invertebrates. Holy man. Oh down. yeah, he hit it on the down. <laughs> they're looking for invertebrates. I'm just pounding it on the spot. He's racing. That's a nice skill. Doubled up. Nice. Oh yeah. This is a nice one. Get out of the camera. I swear to God, it's in the camera. I'm gonna punch you in the face. The camera is moving. Don't think it's in there. She is wrapped in the duo seat. And it's a nice bluegill. Oh, and it got off. Jesus Christ. We'll, we'll, we'll bleep that out for you. We're the best editors on YouTube. Yeah, I'll edit that out. All right, if there's one thing I will recommend you guys is to get uh, what they call, a, it's a Markham Basically what it does is it'll turn your camera so you don't have to always mess with it and try to get it like what I would always do is I'd always have to pack it with snow. And as you see you got this remote right here. And then what happens is when you hit the button, that turns. Which which as you can see will turn the camera. Very easy. Great, great tool for any underwater camera. 10 out of 10, highly recommended. Is that other GoPro on? Oh, they're all on, yeah. Does he have it? Does he have it? Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, goodness. Oh. On. 
again. It's instantaneous right now, boys. Why is my camera moving? Is she wrapped up in the camera? Nope, she's right here. Not a bad girl. And Ty's hooked up. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's nice one. Not bad. It's a nice one. Ty might have a giant. This, is a, this could be a bass. Could it be my Weeper Master angle? This is a light rod, but this is a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Came oh. off in the hole. Oh. oh. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a eight and a half. Mm-hmm. Probably a solid eight and a half inch bluegill. Very nice fish. Oh, oh. Got him? Yeah, it's tiny. Is that a nice one? Trying to pick out pick out bigger fish. It's not that big. I got off. Got off. There's Bub. We'll figure it out. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I have another spot in this lake that I'm gonna go try. We're catching fish, but a lot of small ones. So Another spot should have a lot of fish at it, hopefully. So, catch you on the flip side. Well, we found some fish. You can see. Right there. There's just a couple, three, four on the screen. Right now we're just getting some flickers on the bottom, but there's fish here. All right, so Jared found a better spot over here. So we're actually gonna set the tent up so we have more room and we can get warm in there. So cue the time lapse. I just got set up back in the spot that I just moved and saw these fish at. So we're uh, going to camp out here for another hour and then we're going to go hit another lake, I think, maybe for some walleyes, but you'll see that again if it's, uh, if it's good. But Yeah, hoping to pick up a couple more bluegills and a couple bass potentially. Yeah, so. well that's a, that's a nice one. That looks like a nice one. Nice. Oh, bass, bass, bass. Big gill and bass. No. That bass might come. My, that, that bass might hit it. Yep. Come on. Does he have it? Got him. Got the bass. Bass is on. Bass is on. I got a nice fish on too. That was a nut. Oh! No! Bass got off. What do I got? Gill. Oh, wait, no. Is he off? What the hell is this, nice, dude? Look, look again. All right. God, I had two big fish and the bass, and the bass got off. No. You gotta catch some of these. He didn't like take it hard. Got him. Big school. That's a big school of fish. Not a big fish though. They are waiting down there. Another one. This good one could be decent. I 
Not a bad deal. It's a keeper. It's a borderline keeper right there. Got a bass on me. Oh, two of them. One's got a hit now. Got him. He's on. Yes, sir. The bass is on. It's not a big bass, but I've been chasing this fish since 9 o'clock this morning. He's going to get off at the hole. Jerry finally got his bass. Finally. It's only like 13 inches. The but that, that spoon is hooked directly. What kind of spoon is that? Um, the spoon is a Northland Tackle spoon. I'm not sure what they call it. Here, let me look quick. Probably says on the thing. Oh, it's a forage minnow. Oh, a forage minnow spoon. Not the best action in the world. Unlike flutter nipples and cast masters, but I like it for bluegills. I, I I changed the hook. I put on a smaller hook so it gets yeah, in the bluegill puts oh. in the bluegill's mouth. So it's a great it's a great um great bait for. And there's bass and bluegill down there, so you can kind of target them both. So, that's my approach today. <laughs> Two of them. I have a, yeah, I have one on me. Come on. Got him. He's on. Another bass. <laughs> Probably should focus. <laughs> might be bigger than the other bass. I mean, not much saying, but... It'd be nicer. See, every time two come in, it's, it's every time. Two come in, you hit one hit. They get they get charged up. Because they get aggressive against each other. It's a competition, really. It is. Uh, that's just your textbook. Nice little... Spoon. Right in the top of the mouth. Perfect hook set. Love it. I know there's another one down there that I'm going to catch it. I mean, we just gotta keep getting, keep getting them in. Very healthy fish. Norm, yep, mommy go. All right, that concludes our little bluegill slash bass adventure here. It was a solid morning, you know. Caught a lot of fish. Yep. I mean, a couple decent ones, to be honest. You know, really can't complain. But no, it was a great morning. And so now we're gonna pack up here. We're gonna head to another lake. Strictly for walleyes. We're going all in on the walleyes, so hopefully it pans out. It helps when it's negative 10 degrees out, too. Yeah, I mean, hole hopping on this lake is, like, really good, but it is negative 10. Wind is intense. Mm -hmm. And just not, not ideal conditions, but hopefully we have some walleyes for you guys tonight, so stay tuned for that. Catch you on the flip side, man. Thank you.